I'm Nick DiMartino and today I'm going to be building a TV stand for Danny DeVito? Holy shit boy. I'm super excited about this project, but I do have a few problems. Number one, I have no money. Number two, I have no plan. Number three, I have seven days. And number four, probably the biggest problem of all, I don't know Danny DeVito. It's probably the stupidest idea I ever heard of. Matt was right, this was stupid. But most of the things I do in life are, so let's get started. No plans, no supplies, and no money is a really bad way to start a project. But luckily, I have something that a lot of other people don't. A complete lack of self-respect. So after rummaging through some trash and some dumpsters in my hometown, I found pretty much everything I was going to need for this build. So the first problem was solved and it was time to start building. I had no real plan, but I never really have a plan for these projects. It's all kind of in my head and I just kind of wing it. This old coffee table and broken record console is all I'm going to need for this project. So I measured the coffee table and let the size of that determine how big this TV stand was going to be. Once I had all my measurements figured out, I brought it over to my table saw and started cutting it out. I knew I wanted this project to have a waterfall effect, so I decided I would cut the top and the fives. <laughs> So I decided I would cut the top and the sides with a 45 degree angle so that the grain pattern would follow from the top down the sides. I used a sled on my table saw to make these 45 degree angle cuts. When I was finished, luckily I did a dry fit before I glued this up and screwed it together because something wasn't lining up right. So using my square, I found which spot wasn't right and I just recut it. The whole time I was working on this build, the biggest problem of all was still hanging over my head. Danny DeVito. Why would Danny DeVito want anything that I make? But I had already named the video and done half of this voiceover. So I did what anybody would do. I went on Instagram and I found the real Danny DeVito. I gotta be honest, I was a little concerned with his lack of followers. Five followers on Instagram? Had his career taken a plummet that I was unaware of? Had Danny DeVito been canceled? <gasps> Meanwhile, back on the build, I cut down all my pieces and pre-drilled all my holes, glued and screwed this whole thing together, and now it was time to put in the drawers. So I measured out what I would need, and then using the top off of that old record console, I was able to cut out the boards and slide them in. This thing was really starting to come together, but then this happened. I cut the drawer fronts to see what this was going to look like and I noticed that the top of this box was pulling down in the center. This setback had me discouraged. And not to mention the real Danny DeVito wasn't really the real Danny DeVito. And whoever the real Danny DeVito was didn't even have any way for me to access the real Danny DeVito. This guy was useless. And he also didn't want to buy my table. So I put my head back into the work and cut the new boards for the center. I screwed them into place and started to build the drawers. When I'm building drawers, I like to cut the front and the two sides to the same height. And then the back, I cut a little shorter. Then I lowered the blade down to half the thickness of my three quarter inch plywood. And I run my front and two sides through the saw, removing a channel, which I'll be sliding eighth inch plywood into. This will be easier to understand once I'm nailing these all together. I used glue and some brad nails to put these drawers together and then as you can see here, this eighth inch hardboard will slide into the slots that I've cut and line up perfectly with the back of the drawer. Once I had my drawers all set, it was time to put the drawer slides on and these are just some that I had laying around in my workshop so I decided to use them. Seeing how smooth these drawers open and close had me thinking, smooth, I was going to have to be smooth. So I looked online and guess what I found? A phone number that would connect me with the real Danny DeVito. With my stomach a mess of the anticipation of the phone call, I removed the legs from the record player, painted the drawer fronts and the legs black, and then it was time to attach them. I used some playing cards to space them out and then a couple brad nails and then pulled the drawers out and screwed them in from the back. I used two cutoffs from the tabletop as my drawer pulls. Then I gave this whole thing a couple coats of poly and it was time to make my big phone call. Good morning. Hi, uh, I'm looking for Danny DeVito and it says online I might be able to find him through you guys. Sure, let me try and see the client services and they might be able to help you out. Thank you for calling client services. Can I help you? Hi, I'm trying to get a hold of Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito? Yeah. Why? Uh, I have a table here I made for him and I want to give it to him. Well, if you made a table for him, wouldn't you have his information? 
I don't know how to say this. I uh, I made it for a YouTube video, and I just want to give it to him. And I, I mean, I can't afford to pay for the shipping, so, and I also don't know what his address is, so I need to get that information if possible. Okay, can you hold for one second, please? Yeah. Sir? Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not something that I'm able to disclose. Is there any other celebrities that we could do? Like, any random celebrity just give you their phone number? Yeah, I just want to send, uh, I want to send them this table. Just, I'm trying to get more clicks on my YouTube video, and if a celebrity's in it, I think it'll do a lot better. That's all. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I understand. But unfortunately, no, I'm not going to be able to, to get out any of that information for that reason. In the end, I never did get a hold of Danny DeVito, or any other celebrity for that matter. But when you think about it, what do celebrities have that we don't? Aside from a name that'll get people to click on your YouTube video, Danny DeVito is a legend. But so is Henry, Hallelujah. the guy I met on Facebook who bought this piece from me. Thanks, Henry. If you like this video, click right here and check out this one. Later. Bye, see you again, and have a good dream. Spread this video to all your friends because it's a computer virus. <laughs> <laughs>